guys, I'm Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop, and today we have an awesome video. It's part of our shortcut series, and it's called Charm Pack Crispies. And it's super easy. If you can make a half square triangle, you can make this. And it's a free pattern to download at Fat Quarter Shop. The version I'm showing you today is a lap version, but we also have free versions for crib, twin, and queen, so you can check those out. For our lap version, you need two print charm packs and two solid charm packs. We're using Butter Cup and Slate by Corey Yoder, and we're using color 200 for the Bella Solids. This is how the pattern looks when you download it, and it's gonna be really awesome what we do because if you can make four half square triangles, sew them together, you're gonna quickly turn that into this. Let's get started and let me show you an awesome way to turn half square triangles into this awesome Charm Pack Krispies block. So what you're gonna do is start with one solid and one print charm pack, super easy. Now on this pattern, you cannot starch because if you starch, there won't be enough room to trim down. So what I'm gonna do is put those together. I'm gonna draw a line a quarter inch away from the center. So to do that, I've lined up my quarter inch at the top and the bottom and just draw that line. You can also draw a center line if you would like. From there, you can just draw a line half inch away. So you're basically a quarter inch away from the center on both sides. Now here, I would go ahead and use two pins opposite of the lines. And from here, what I would do is go to the sewing machine and I am gonna be using Aurifil Color 2000 and just stitch directly on those lines. When you get back, it's gonna look like this. So I'm gonna just cut in the center, corner to corner. And that, each of those pair of squares is going to give you two half square triangles. And you're gonna to wanna to follow the instructions for how many to make. Since we have four different size options, there's a different amount on each. But if you're making the lap size, you're gonna make 144. Now let me show you how to iron these for the next step. So now what I'm going to do is set my seam. And when you set your seam, that friction pin that I use is going to disappear. And I'm gonna to press to one side, it doesn't matter which side. Once you have pressed to one side, then go ahead and press open. And, and if you let the clapper sit on that for about 30 seconds, your block will get nice and flat. And having it nice and flat with no wrinkles is gonna give you the best results in the next steps. So from here, once everything is nice and flat, you're going to trim all of your half square triangles to four and a half. And so what I'm gonna do is just use a Creative Grizz four and a half inch ruler, put that diagonal line right on that seam. I'm gonna cut two sides, rotate, and this is why you can't starch because you wouldn't have enough excess fabric to trim down. And so just repeat that step on all of your half square triangles and we'll move to making the block. Now you're gonna build your block and what you're gonna do is have two matching half square triangles with the whites in the center, two matching half square triangles with the darks in the center. And to make this work really nicely, what you will do is pin at both intersections. So I'll pin down here. And then at the top, if you just put your finger right here and then flip this up, make sure everything's in the same spot and pin and you're gonna do that, you're gonna stitch down a quarter inch seam and then you will have two units that look like this. And from here, you're gonna also pin. From here, you'll take this, get the whites lined up, pin here. So this block really does, it does matter if you pin, especially because you have all these seams. So you're gonna pin all of this and then you're gonna get this block and we're gonna cut this block up and we're gonna have a lot of fun and you're gonna see what fun this turns into. So from here, you're gonna pay attention to this diagram really closely. We're gonna be cutting two and three quarters this way, then three inches, and that's gonna leave you with two and three quarters. We're gonna do the other side, two and three quarters, three and two and three quarters. And you will see that using a rotating mat is gonna be really helpful. So I'm going to use a Creative Grits ruler and just mark two and three quarters away, trim. 
And then you can either cut it three inches or what I'm gonna do is just rotate and cut it two and three quarters so that I only have to look at one measurement on this. So there's the two and three quarters and this will give you three inches. Then I'm gonna rotate the other direction, cut at two and three quarters. And that's why a rotating mat is really helpful because if this comes kind of apart, it kind of gets tricky. And then I'm gonna start with the yellows in this corner. And if you look at the diagrams, the corner pieces are your number one pieces, the center is number three, and then the remaining pieces are your number twos. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna leave your number ones just like they are, and then you're gonna leave your number three just like it is. On your number twos, you're gonna rotate. You're gonna flip it one time, and that's gonna create the star in the center. So you rotate it 180 degrees. And then what you're gonna do is just pin, stitch a quarter inch seam, press according to your pattern, which is gonna be press open, add your last row, press open, and then add these together. And right here, just make sure you're pinning in these intersections. And when you're done sewing these together, you're gonna to have a beautiful block that forms this really cool star. So when you look at the layout, you're gonna get a really nice twinkling star effect and you can see how the block looks before it's quilted. And what's really cool is you didn't have to piece these really small seams because we just cut. And it's a really cool effect. I know you have tons of term packs laying around, so I'm interested to see if you're gonna try this quilt out. I hope you love it. It's something super original to Fat Quarter Shop, and it's a completely free pattern for you. So I hope to see you making the term pack crispy soon. See you next time.